buffs in this game. I his love movement Ganon is a little bit better. Game. His yeah. moves, he can throw them out a little bit easier. Yeah. A little bit less lag. I love him. In singles, still struggles to chase people down. But in doubles, boy, are those big hitboxes going to come in clutch. So this is WP what I was right. And combo is the tag of this Ganondorf player who I am going to have my eyes on throughout this set. That up smash covers that platform really nicely. Okay. Gotta watch out for that splat bomb. Yeah, the yellow team is really going to have to find a way to maneuver around these Ganon hitboxes. Getting hit multiple times now by the up smash. Ganon doing a lot of damage as well. You can almost see the, key, the team comp here of the blue being gets fast pace, quick Palatin, and to get some quick damage. And then you have combo there to clean up the stocks. Wow, that reverse up air sends Yoshi really far. Was oh. not able to make it back. Look at how deep he goes. He is not afraid. Looks like uh, WP Wood going to be doing his best to try to set up these situations for combo. But combo is going off stage. Really far. Got to watch out for that. Oh, uh, yeah. Going to get clipped up there by the forward air. Combo losing that stock. Now, even game now, or even game going against blue and yellow. Oh, but there, another stock taken off of the yellow there by WP Wood. Yeah, and the big thing, actually, that uh, the fact that it was a star KO gave yellow team a little bit extra time to go for that nice up close 2v1. Didn't get too much off of it, but that's little things you got to think about in doubles. Lots of hitboxes flying there. So much damage. Rella looking to take off this combo stock. Oh, I like the forwarder there from combo. Yeah, aggressively aggressive. taking out the egg. Combo's off stage has been impressive considering how... Uh, that's one thing that did <laughs> not change. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my boy gave him all the feet. That's one thing that did not change from Smash 4. Ganondorf off stage is still really, really weak on the recovery. Yeah, really weak recovery. But, man, if you can get a hitbox out, you send them so far away that it makes your recovery safer. There's teammate getting the hit and setting up for the yellow team to clean up the stock. Yeah, just take that nice, easy punish on the directional air dodge. Oh, not afraid to use that down air. Ooh, Ooh using it double? twice there, trying to look for the up smash, at least a little bit too soon. The Yellowello, opportunity of the edge guard here. Ooh, goes above the ledge, that's gonna be a punish. Wow, still, his eye is on the prize. He's not only focused on recovering, he's still keeping a track of when Dojo flies into his space so he can get aggressive. Oh that my gosh, there. and the forward air from across the stage. Yoshi now, on the last stock. Right, both oh the yellow team on the last stock. That was such a smart up special there. And now Combo's going to have to take the stock. Look at how high WP Wood is. Yeah, that was a big turnaround there. Combo still had two stocks. Definitely could have turned things around. And that down smash chaos his partner. Oh, uh, now it's Ganon against the world. We talked about how slow he is. We talked about how lackluster he can be in singles. Now he has to do with two characters. Yeah, I mean, both players are absolutely a kill percent. So now... He has a chance, but Dojo's stacking up the percents, and a small character like Inkling is really difficult for Ganondorf to deal with. A lot of his moves can get low profiled by that dash. All right, what's the option here on the ledge? He's going to be going up with the neutral there. Finds him with the forward tilt. What's Combo's option? Just goes for the up tilt. Hopes he rolls on the stage, possibly? Trying to go for a mix up covering a high recovery, I guess. Okay, gets through the splat bomb. Now stuck in the center. Dojo playing it very calm. Doesn't want to get hit by any of these straight hitboxes. Now it's time to keep Ganon on the ledge. Ooh, doesn't get by the splat bomb and in a back air just to contest the get up option. Tries to two frame with that down tilt, doesn't quite find it, but he can go real deep. Again, the recovery from Ganondorf didn't get too much better. Still has no real way to contest because he can't throw out too many hitboxes without just going too too low. Exactly. All right, what well, I've seen some Ganondorf mains and some like uh, Belmont mains too is when he gets sent that far doing an early air dodge upwards, right? And then he gives you some, a bit of more height, lets you, if you still have your jump, get back to the stage easier as well. Yeah, the only trouble there is when you're playing up against the inkling, he has so much momentum and so much ability to just burst all the way off the edge of the stage. We'd seen him punish that earlier in the set. Uh, a free punish on that directional air dodge to take combo second stop. And right. moving on. Uh, at the end there, he was so deep out there already that he just had exactly. to wait and react. And exactly yeah. what Dojo did, took big advantage of the huge reversal they had at the end of that game where Blue Team really looked like they were in control, but Kamo got a little bit too aggressive on an edge guard, lost a stock really early, and exactly. then swinging wildly took his oh. partner out. Oh my gosh, so much damage here from the yellow. The Blue Team can barely get back down to the ground. But man, what the Blue Team, I think, really hurt them that last game was how often they had friendly fire. Already starting this game with some friendly fire, setting up the yellow team to already take a stop off of WP Wood. That was the big thing that I noticed as well. Despite Combo being able to put on a ton, a ton of pressure on the yellow team, what we didn't see was a lot of team synergy. Mm -hmm, exactly. A lot of a lot of shine from Combo, a lot of quick damage here from WP Wood. But really, what they need is a bit more team synergy to really put all the pieces together here. 
see if we'll see a bit of that later in this game. Something like we just saw at Arello, where he notices his partner got hit by that flame choke. He comes through with the dash attack. Ooh, there no communication combo. <laughs> Look at you saw DBP Wood having to hold that up smash that long because combo was so close to him. There we go. Yeah. Combo was able to clean up, and luckily uh, for WP Wood, Dojo was really far off stage. They weren't able to punish, but that could have been a situation where uh, WP Wood could have gone out for an edge card. Yeah. Still, though, stocks now are evened up. Combo at that high percent, but that means he's got the rage. See what he can do with it. Oh, over here on the left, really looking for a stock. Love how he came back to stage to help out Dojo there with the egg. But now Dojo's super low. Oh my oh. gosh, wow, somehow making it back. To the back throw. Wow, the aggressive. That was so, what? And combo. Two. It was so smart. There's two of them. But then look, WP Wood immediately knocking combo right back off the stage. Not aware that it was his teammate coming towards him. There we go. Forward throw. Tries to catch Yoshi. Smash decks are flying right now. It's a little, yeah. bit, a little bit scary. Especially for combo sitting over here at 174%. Making it back to stage, though. Trying to Rello. punish, but punish is really late. And Rello comes in. Clean dash tag. Upper, though, is going to take that stock. And again, even stocks, just higher percent on WP Wood. Oh, wow, wow. What happened to Dojo? I don't know. I don't think Dojo knows. Now, one stock apiece there for the yellow. Blue team once again in the lead, but we saw the situation. They were able to take off the stock from Combo and force Combo to take the stock from Palatena, but she loses it early herself. All right, last stocks all. Big forward smash came through from Combo. Oh no! no WP Wood nasty. losing his stock at practically 0%. Once again, Combo in the 2v1. And again, we're seeing these aren't super high percents, but it's Ganondorf. He can definitely swing big. Mm, Ooh. Platform there, saving good the day. Eye. All right, off the stage now. We, saw, we talked about how Inkling is really good at edge guarding Ganon, but he makes it back here. Yeah, Inkling can go so deep, and it's not even super committal, because Ganondorf can't really counter pressure it. He has to just commit to recovery to the stage. All right, neutral there, getting some space. Oh, goes for the wizard foot. It's going to take punish. the stock there with the up smashes Dojo. And they're like, and us are asking if it's best of five, but no, it is best of three. And Rello and Doji are going to be taking it there over Combo and WP Wood. Moving on, looked like they really just didn't have the, quite the same level of team synergy. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, some moments of panic came through, and it's like, I all the pressure's on me. I have to make this thing happen. They picked a little bit too committal of options, too uh, aggressive options, and. Yellow team really took advantage of that. Yeah, and that, that really showed like double the red yellow team's doubles experience, right? We saw a lot more synergy from them, a lot more covering my teammate, right? And then in those situations where mistakes were made, they were still able to capitalize and really take the set that far, and that's why they ended up doing it 2-0 there. Yeah. Character choice helped a little bit as well because Ganondorf, he's not the fastest character in the world, not gonna really be able to get there to help out a yeah. teammate. Uh, Palutena does have some speed, but when you're the only person who's able to do it, not always able to get the job done.